Kevin, why did you start Channel APA? All right, so um, I've uh, been following Asian American media for a long time, uh, ever since there were um, Asian American magazines on the racks. Uh, now there aren't any, um, but also the other thing that uh, inspired me was there are television stations like AZN, Imagine Asian, MTV had like three or four channels uh, dealing with Asian uh, American uh, in different uh, you know, countries and stuff like that. But uh, basically all those uh, entities started dying off uh, the last few years and that kind of caused me to think, you know, why, why are these things dying off? Why can't, why can't there be a channel that exists like you know, like, you know, BET and like Univision and stuff like that for Asian Americans. So, you know, as uh, on the day that AZM broadcasted their last signal, I decided, okay, I'm just going to start something up here and see what happens so that, uh, you know, there can be something, um, uh, there could be some brought a station for uh, Asian Americans out there to, to showcase their stuff. So, um, I started it. It's, um, if you check out channelapa.com, you'll see the different stuff that we post. Um, uh, mostly around Asian American entertainment and uh, a lot of different Asian American artists out there, up and coming, uh, as well as established ones. And uh, we're just trying to go out there and help uh, get the word out for uh, and support the Asian American community in the, in the arts. Steve, what about you? Uh, yeah, dude, pretty much what you said. Uh, but although mine doesn't really target around Asian Americans, although it kind of indirectly does target Asian Americans because you know, it just happens to be the circle that I'm in. But as you can see on my channel, you know, I'm just targeting art. You know, it's art is what I'm going for. It could be any form. Of course, you know, it comes in every form you can think of. I mean, tagging is an art form. People dunking a basketball is an art form. You know, people get paid to dunk basketballs, dude. You know, it, it, I'm just trying to pick up anything in general that I perceive as art. And a lot of people have gained, you know, a, you know kind of like insight to what I've been trying to get at. And it's been really good. You know, I've been getting great responses, great feedback from people, and for the most part, I'm I'm here to entertain, but at the same time, inform people about these art, you know, these arts. Like, if they want to get into it professionally, this is what they have to be aware of, you know, the certain things that they might have to avoid to be successful later on. What do you guys both hope to accomplish? Well, I'm hoping to uh, basically give create a platform so that. Asian American artists can showcase their stuff, whether in film or music or you know any other thing that uh, is on video, that uh, that people can you know have an outlet to to show their stuff out there. So just like all the other stations that or t television stations that have uh, tried to do it, um, you know we're trying to do it online. We don't have we don't have the bills to pay for cable and like satellite and all the other stuff. So we're just using the medium of the internet where. You see, you know, a lot of artists come up like like Wang Fu, like Kev Jumba, and all these other guys are are up and coming, utilizing the internet to do their thing. So we're just leveraging the same, uh, you know, technology, but we're trying to just you know help everyone out there that are, you know that's Asian American art, Asian American artists out there. Yeah, with social networking kind of blowing up the way it is now, and so many people are using it, especially adults. This is a great way to promote. You know, your own work through this kind of social media outlet and with YouTube and with Facebook and everything it is really a useful tool for people that have an idea but don't have the budget to necessarily pursue their idea to the fullest and you know, obviously you want to get them out there you want to get these artists that are you know kind of underexposed you want to get them out there so you know maybe one day an executive from like Warner Brothers or you know, Touchstone will say, hey, you know, this guy, you know, he knows what he's talking about, he's talented, maybe we should contact him, and this is the way that we're doing it. So we're indirectly helping, you know, the Asian American community, and at the same time, just anyone who wants to be a you know, possible you know, professional in this industry. Any advice for the kids out there? I think, um, you know, don't, don't, you know, if you're, when, you're, when you're an artist and you're a struggling artist, don't give up. Just keep keep trying. Send us your videos. We'll, we'll do our best to help promote it. Um, we we got a lot of different uh, things submitted to us, so we'll do our best to get back to everyone out there. But uh, you know, you know, when you're an artist, there's a lot of ups and downs. So you know, whether you're in film or music or you know anything else, 
is just you know keep on you know keep on keep on uh, trying and, and pursuing your passions. You always hear the bad of it and the bad things about being a professional, and it gets you down. Obviously, people don't want to you know really pursue it. That's why they go the safe route and you know, they do the nine to five. But these guys that we profiled, that we interviewed, you know, you can hear that they're very passionate about it. And regardless of making a comfortable living or not, we really you know, encourage those artists to make something of themselves. If not to do it professionally, then do it for fun. Because all these guys, they had the idea of just doing it for fun. You know, they were good at it. And now they just want to take it to the next level. And I think you know, they'll get there one day. It's just, we got to make sure that you know, they're getting the great promotion that they deserve. Thank you.